Oh, well, this song also ended up on the almost famous movie soundtrack that didn't actually end up famous at all. You can find it in the little red box inside of your local food lion. <laughs> it's called At Any Price. And I thought, I was like, man, this guy called, there's these things that in Nashville, there's all these industry terms, right? They've got this thing in the industry called a placement agent. And these guys call you up and they say, I've got a spot in a movie or commercial or whatever. I'm going to put your song in and you're going to pay the shitload of publishing money. And every musician has always thumbs up about it. So this guy told me who the lineup was, and I was like, man, I can already smell the panties vaporizing across the nation. This is great. Dennis Quaid, Zach Efron, like, win, win, win. Ladies are going to go nuts. And it just didn't really do so good. My mom went to see it. It didn't even debut in Nashville at all. It made it to eight U.S. cities, and then they pulled it from the shelves. I think it went straight to the European distribution. But uh, at any rate, she did say she saw my name at the end of the credits, and she was very proud of me. She's like, I saw your name at the end. I didn't hear your song, but I saw your name at the end. Like, Thanks, Mom. Like, Shit, that's great. Thank you, Mom. And it did pay the insurance on our van for a couple months. So, not, not a loss. For the rest of my life, I will get a check for $17.19 once a year. One third of one carton of cigarettes in Tennessee. Three. One, two. Oh, I'll take one for my heart, Lisa. Two for the road. I'll raise the tears and I'll cry for you.
Thanks.